sometimes when we try to save the situation, we end up misbehaving. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 moments in That So Raven. You could gaze into the future, future, future. You might think life would be free. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be tapping our feet to that catchy opening and counting down the visions, the fashion, the lessons, and of course, the comedic mishaps of Raven Baxter. Ooh. Number 10, Cake Fear and Pushover Patterson. Both of you knew having that party was wrong, so you both be doing these extra chores for a long, long, long time. In a surprising sitcom twist, Victor Baxter actually remembers his vow to his children to never leave them home alone again. This leads them to rehiring their old babysitter, Miss Patterson, and Raven and Corey couldn't be happier. That's Miss Patterson. Okay. Miss Patterson is a bit of a pushover, and the siblings assume that they'll have an easy time. You could make us a hot for Sundays. <laughs> oh, won't that spoil your dinner? We want them for dinner. However, they don't realize the danger they've been put in. Look at this one. Revenge-seeking babysitter seeks revenge. There's a revenge-seeking babysitter on the loose, and all signs point to shifty-eyed pushover Patterson, which leads to an over-the-top, hilarious Raven take on horror tropes. Where's my oh. Number nine, that's my jam. We all have one to call our own, a jam. And when we hear it, we have to drop everything and dance. What's my jam? That I can stop it any time. Raven demonstrates the full circle of emotions that take place when we experience the joy of jamming. After that, it's nonstop dancing until we manage to have a heart-to-heart -heart with our backsides to try and get them to stop shaking. Go, Raven! Despite Raven's over-enthusiasm getting her in trouble, we can't say we blame her. After all, it is an obvious Beyonce nod that her brother keeps playing throughout the house. Number 8. Do You Carry a Lunchbox? I've heard enough out of you, Baxter! You're fired! It didn't take long to realize the vision formula. Raven sees something, Raven misinterprets it. Disaster. Either humorous or downright terrible. So, I see you met my daughter Raven. She's really great. Really? She must be having an off day. In this case, Raven's father loses his job, a rather serious issue that Raven attempts to fix with the power of quick thinking, disguises, and good friends. Stop looking at me! Why can't I just blend in? Enter the exotic Liz Anya. And yes, that is based on the rather satisfying Italian dish, who is Raven posing as a celebrity. Our absolute favorite moment comes from Eddie and Chelsea, who are appalled that the manager doesn't know about Ms. Anya. Because seriously, does he even carry a lunchbox? Do you know who I be? Do you listen to music? Do you watch TV? Do you carry a lunchbox? <laughs> Number seven, Raven says goodbye to Devon. Uh, watch where I'm going. School bullies crushing on the same guy, Deceptively cute little sisters, a necessary jealousy, Raven and Devon had been through it all, and according to one of Raven's visions, they'd be walking down the aisle. Unfortunately, as we stayed with the vision formula, Devon wasn't proposing. His father was the one getting married, and it meant that Devon's family was moving away. Raven tried to hold it together, but in the end, she knew the truth. She had to say goodbye to Devon. I'll never forget you. Will I ever see you again? I hope so. I love you, Ray. Fortunately, the two would always have their song, which meant more than we could ever imagine. That's our song. Would you like to dance? I'd love to. Number six, Raven's allergic reaction. My crew is out on the street right now to challenge our next opponent. Right, gourmet girl? Right, Dad. Who's ready to get served? <laughs> the first rule of That's So Raven, never challenge a Baxter. Baxters never give up, and they're ready to face any adversary even if their face and hands blow up like balloons. Wow, the camera really does have 10 pounds. While some people can become super powered with mushrooms, Raven just gets super puffy. Yes, the extreme allergic reaction gag has been done before, but hearing Raven's shrieks and seeing her stumble across the set is not only hilarious, but oddly inspiring. Dad, a great man once said to me, the only way we can lose 
is if they don't try. She keeps going for her father, and even inspires him to never give up, especially since he's got a spunky daughter to give him a hand. Number 5. Shine. It's on! There was a time when we were all caught up in the undercover superstar craze. Or are we thinking of that other idol show with Paula Abdul? Hey, we're back! So let's meet the superstars our undercover talent scouts discovered at schools just like yours. Yep, there was an episode that was a clear nod to the singing competition. And Paula even made a guest appearance for it. While well, that in itself is great, the episode really shines with Raven's performance. How y'all doing? Look, about that song, I just wanted to talk to you. What is going on around here? When her school assumes that the janitor is working undercover to discover the next big thing, Raven manages to choreograph an entire song and dance, full of energy and positive lyrics. Do what I need to do. Number four, we are the boys in motion. Boys in motion! Oh! Oh, I love your song! Admit it, you had a couple of boy bands plastered on your walls, had their school supplies, and pretended to be their newest love interest. Somebody found out we're in town? Spread it around. Who would do such a thing? Hey, 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 people, okay? Let's not play the blame game, all right? In the 2000s, there was no better band than the total dreamboats known as the Boys in Motion. Granted, they were a fictional band, but the boys were cute, they answered questions in song, and they had some sweet moves. Hey, if you had asked us yesterday, we would have said what we say in our smash hit, Yes, in a heartbeat. No wonder why their fans fainted at their mere presence, even if it was covered in smoke to hide the fact that it was Raven and her friends. Boys in motion! Number three, Betrayed by the Booty. When my hand is up, I know the answer. And when my hand is down, I don't know the answer. Let me explain it again. Hand up, no hand down, don't. I'm just saying. This may be the very first episode, but it's one of the most memorable in the series. Raven stands up to your average unbearable television teacher and calls him out for something that we're sure all students have wanted to address. Because you have more fun embarrassing us than teaching us. And trust me, the whole class got my back on this one right here. Unfortunately, Raven's parents are called. And to stop the impending meeting, she poses as a sassy, full-figured version of her mother that had a bit too much junk in her trunk. Anything for my baby's favorite teacher. <laughs> <laughs> After being caught by an amused Mr. and Mrs. Baxter, all Raven could do was glance back at her behind in utter betrayal. Okay, now when did y'all find out? <laughs> well, when your butt went left, you went right. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Betrayed by the booty. Number two, put that in your magazine. No, I'm saying, nobody should tell us what to wear, right? Right! right. <laughs> oh, hey, y'all. Somehow, we have yet to cover one of Raven's greatest qualities, her sense of style. Raven Baxter was one of the most fashionable teenagers on TV, so we were thrilled to see an episode where she stepped into the fashion industry. Thank you, everybody. This has always been a dream of mine. <gasps> that was so cool. Unfortunately, her vision didn't warn her about body shaming, and she was heartbroken to see herself photoshopped and excluded in walking the runway. Well, let's put it this way. You just don't have the look. Fortunately, this leads to Raven's best asset, her sense of self-worth. Not only does she walk the runway in her dress, she walks it her way, teams up with the other model, and gives an empowering speech. Because in case you haven't noticed, people come in all shapes and sizes, and they're all beautiful. Tell it, girl! Speak the truth! Before we get to our number one pick, we're having a vision about some honorable mentions. I'm not melting! I'm not melting! Well, let's see. I was born in San Francisco. My father named Jerome. Number one, I don't hire black people. The truth is, I don't hire black people. It's not uncommon for sitcoms to take a break in the comedy to tackle hard issues. Think about it, Ray. Have you ever seen anybody black, Latino, or Asian working at Sassy's? Even so, it catches you off guard when the family-friendly Disney Channel introduces a woman who flat out says she will not hire black people. Chelsea, <laughs> certain kinds of people need a little more attention. 
We have our suspicions when Raven, who is more qualified than Chelsea, isn't hired for a job in a clothing store, but her awful vision confirms it. This leads to some hard conversations about racism, but Raven's parents encourage her not to give up. Nobody discriminates against my baby. We're gonna bust him, we're gonna shut him down by any means necessary. While the comedic beats are still in place, it's the satisfaction of taking down the bigoted store manager that we value most. The truth is, I don't hire black people. And there you have it. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.